just in case you haven't got access to your Adobe applications and programs at the moment, all you need to do is just Google Adobe Creative Cloud. And usually it's the first sign that pops up that says you can download it or sign in at adobe.com. So just do that to start off with. As a member of staff or student at the University of Greenwich, what you need to do is to put in your short university um, email address. Just put that in and click to continue. Then on the next page, you're given two options. You need to click the orange one that says company or school account. And when you do that, you'll be taken to the University of Greenwich um, regular sign on site. So you sign in through that and it accesses all of the programs and apps through your university um, account. Once you get into Adobe Creative Cloud, if you look in the top left corner, it says All Apps, and it'll bring this page up for you. So there are so many um, programs and applications you can download onto multiple devices. So you can see on the bottom of this one, it says Premier Rush. You'd be able to download it, and then once you have, then you'll just see a sign saying Open. But if you look towards the top center page, it says Web, and that's where you'll find other programs like Spark. And don't forget, if you want to do loads and loads more learning and get badges and certificates and CPT points and everything, um, you can so easily. If you just Google um, Adobe edX for Education Exchange, it takes you to this page. And when you click to sign in, it's exactly the same as signing into Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, it's, it, it's all underlying the same account. Just next to sign in, you'll see that little cluster of dots. And when you click on those, that shows you some of the programs and applications you've already signed up to. And once you sign in, there are so many training courses you can do from a couple of hours right through to quite a few days over a number of weeks or months. Well worth doing and certainly underpinning so much of um, the Adobe Rush and Adobe Spark training that um, I'm providing. One final tip to give you is when you click on for all the different programs, you'll notice that you've got access to Adobe Acrobat DC. So that's not like the free downloadable Adobe Acrobat Reader. That's the one that you can use for editing. You can write comments over documents, you can send them, you can turn them into Word documents. So many things that you can do that you can't with the free Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay, well worth checking out. And if you're going to be using this suite of resources regularly, then one thing you can do is when you find it on your start key, if you right click it, you can add it to your toolbar at the top or bottom of your uh, screen. And it's much quicker then for access instead of searching for it each time. Click this to open and you've got full access to all of your apps or um, programs.